Uh, welcome to Spring 11 Getting Started Quick Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to develop a demo application using Spring 11. Uh, and I am Sanjay Patel. I am the lead developer of Spring 11. So let me first tell you why we need Spring 11. What is Spring 11 basically? What it does? Uh, you know that nowadays uh, we know more uh, develop applications using server-side templating like JSP or Timelift. Uh, we will be developing uh, REST services and that REST services uh, would be consumed from your JavaScript web applications or mobile clients or any consumer basically like any other service also can consume your REST API. So when you develop such REST API using Spring, there will be multiple challenges such as you will need to consider how to make your API stateless maybe using token authentication, session sliding, etc. Uh, and then you will need to consider how to configure Spring Security to suit API development. That means uh, instead of redirecting the user to the login or some error page, you will need to return 200 or 401 responses on login. Uh, you will also need to uh, do some more configurations like uh, configuring for cores, configuring for JSON vulnerability protection, etc. Uh, then you will need to handle validations and exceptions in a cross-functional manner. Uh, what do I mean by that is that when a request comes to your application and some error occurs or some exception is thrown in your business logic, uh, you should not handle that exception and translate that exception to a suitable error response in your business code that should be a part of some global component sitting somewhere else and your business code should be simple and plain it should just throw the exception so you need to code components for uh, this particular pattern uh, and then you will also need to support multiple social sign up or sign in uh, using uh, open id connect or OAuth 2 providers like google and facebook you will also need to code a robust user module uh, with features like sign up, sign in, verify email, social sign up or sign in, update profile, forgot password, change password, change email, token authentication, etc. And this will be common to all your applications basically. And you will also need to establish good patterns for testing your API. You will also need to do CAPTCHA validation particularly when signing up. Uh, you will also need to do things like organizing your application properties properly, uh, coding some libraries or utilities for handling things like patch and JSON patch. So whatever we discussed just now needs to be coded properly before your business developers can start coding business logic into your API. And coding all this uh, needs in-depth knowledge of Spring and it also takes a lot of development time and effort and not only that you will continuously need to maintain this code as new versions of Spring modules come out. So this is basically a big task and a highly technical task and that's where Spring Lemon comes in. Spring Lemon is a tiny open source library holding all the common configurations and components for all the challenges that we discussed and it also has a production grade user module with all the features that we discussed. So most Spring Boot applications can use Spring Lemon right away with some simple configurations and customizations and extensions. Uh, it's, it's quite configurable and extensible as you will see in the demo. Uh, but in case your particular project is a different one and Spring Lemon does not fit in there, uh, you can fork it or you can just learn the best practices and patterns from Spring Lemon and use it in your own library. Okay, so this was an introduction and what we are seeing now is the GitHub homepage of Spring Lemon and you can find in the documentation and resources section here we have multiple things for you to get started and dive into Spring Lemon. What we are now going through is this video tutorial. We have also a book in case you don't like video tutorial and in case you find it difficult to uh, understand my voice. 
We also have an example application which, which shows how to use Spring Lemon, which is basically very similar to what we are going to develop in this particular tutorial, but it also has some additional automated tests and all. So go check it after this tutorial. And we also have extensive API documentation. Let me show you that. You see that this is quite extensive and all the endpoints of Spring Lemon are covered here. And then we also have Java doc. We also have uh, an example Angular JS 1.x frontend application, which shows how to use Spring Lemon. And this actually we will work on this example application as well as the application that we are going to develop in this tutorial. So you can use this one. And we have a mastering real world restful web services development with Spring Ultimate course. You can go through that to master REST API development using Spring and that also covers Spring Lemon in depth. So that is a must guide if you want to become an expert Spring developer, whether you use Spring Lemon or not. That is available both in PDF format and video tutorial format. And if you pre-order it now, you will, you will be getting very big discounts. And whenever you need help and support, we are there. Uh, you can just check these links for that. Okay, so in the next lesson, we are going to see how the finished application that we are going to develop in this tutorial is going to look like. And after that, from the third lesson, we are going to actually develop the application. So join me in the next lesson.